Heading into Saturday's visit from Pittsburgh, a team that came in having dropped five straight on the road. Panthers down by five in the first half. Julius Page, say hello to my love friend. Have a good trip, man. Look again. Page on Ruben Boomshe. Boomshe. Hit trailing by three. Late first half. Kevin Braswell, the steal. Hoy is running. Demetrius Hunter finishes two of his 11. And Georgetown leads by two at halftime. But in the second half, it's Page. He had 18 points. Ben Howland's Panthers are up by one. Less than 30 seconds left. Hoy is down to Mike Sweet. And he blocked by Isaac Hawkins. Panthers gain control. Brandon Knight here. Ricardo Greer there. Tubas 15 and Pittsburgh upsets the Hoyas 70 to 66, handing Georgetown its first loss. Hoyas held at their lowest point total of the season. They did not score over the game's final three minutes and 48 seconds. Only the second road victory of the year for the Panthers. This one left Stanford as Division 1A's only unbeaten team. What a segue. Oh, I couldn't have said it better because I planned on 16 0 Stanford hosting New Mexico. Casey Jacobson actually misses. But it's a left-handers world. Stanford ended the first half on a 23-3 run, led 43-26 at the break. Early second half, Jacobson, no lack of confidence here. Low bowls folding like they were portable. Jacobson with 14 points, Stanford up by 11, and the freshman Justin Davis grabbing the rebound. Two-handed stuff. Stanford 17-0, and they win this one with authority. Ryan Mendez had 13 in the victory as well. And that victory leaves Stanford at just one win shy of matching the best start in school history. They improve also to 34 and one against non-conference opponents at home. The real question was, would the Cyclones get the credit or not? If some college hoop games have movie script drama, this one was its own mini series. Just under 20 seconds left in Lincoln. Nebraska down one. Kamani Friend Nunes misses. Rodney Fields follows. He had 12. The Huskers lead by one. Cyclones with the ball here. Jamal Tinsley blocked by Friend out of bounds with eight tenths of a second to go. So here's your ball game. Tinsley, they do not guard him making the inbound. Martin Rancic going glass to beat the buzzer. And Iowa State wins on a miracle shot. Let the celebration begin. They're piling on. The Cyclones are fired up, but uh-oh, wait a minute here. Hold the phone. The Nebraska fans and players, they start rushing the court. They think they've won the game. Huh? <laughs> They're saying Rancic's shot came after time ran out. It's pandemonium. The Zebras telling Barry Collier and Larry Ustachy we're going to look to see if he got the shot off before the buzzer. Take a look, Rancic. With point three on the clock in the lower right-hand corner of your screen, right there, it's away. Point three left. The friend actually blocks the shot. It still goes in. Larry Ustachy, come on down. The basket is good. And Iowa State wins 60-59. to Jamal Tinsley, who made the inbound pass on that winning basket, leading all scores with 23 points. Iowa State wins its first Big 12 road game. The loss dropping Nebraska one game below 500 overall. Dukies at Georgia Tech. Alvin Jones, four fouls late first half, and the Blue Devils take advantage. Chris Duhon, top shell for Jason Williams. Two possessions later, Williams will feed Carlos Boozer. Two of his 24. Duke up 52-33 at the half. But earlier in the first half, Michael Eisenhower elbowed Mike Dunleavy, then puts J.B. Simpson in a headlock. Duke did not forget. They retaliated in the second oh. half. Boozer with an elbow to Eisenhower, and it's getting chippy. No fouls called. Look at Shane Battier. A little pump fake, but he goes glass. Shane Battier scored 20 straight Blue Devils points, 30 of his 34 coming in the second half, and Duke wins 98. 77, Battier shot 11 of 14 from the field in the second half, including four threes. Duke has won nine straight over Georgia Tech, and only three of those wins have come by fewer than 10 points. Said Mike Krzyzewski, obviously, we've got a good team. In Knoxville, fourth-ranked balls welcoming unranked Mississippi State to town. Tony Harris, 22 points, balls by as many as 19. Late second half, though. Not so fast. Guy Garner hits the three, and he's fouled by Harris. Four-point play. The Bulldogs cut it to five. They get within two. Robert Jackson, though, working in the post. His shot sent clear to Memphis, courtesy of Isaiah Victor. Balls hang on. 84-79. They got to the line 16 times in the final two minutes and sunk 13. 
Tony Harris hit 11 of 12 from the line all by his lonesome. Tennessee stretches its home win streak to 17 straight. The football team, UNC at Florida State, the heels and the Knowles on their heels in no time. Joseph Forte, 4-7 from the yard. Heels by 11. Forte getting all fancy. Tar Heels led 49-30 at the half. FSU comes back with a vengeance. Delvin Arrington steals Ron Curry's ball and he goes the other way. FSU within three. Next possession, oh, Forte taking the contact off the glass, scored 12 straight in a span of four minutes. UNC leading by five, and Forte nail in the coffin, dagger in the heart, pick it. 14 of his 28 came in the final seven minutes and 11 seconds. 12 straight wins for the Tar Heels. Saturday's Vandy visit second half. Look at Udonis Haslam defend the basket. Vandy works the loose ball around, though. Chuck Moore with one tick on the shot clock. Nails at 13 for more. We're tied at 41. Just under 35 seconds to play. Brendan Plavich open for three. The freshman hitting two threes in the final 57 seconds. Commodores take a two-point lead. Just over five seconds left now. Greg LaPointe at the line. He made the first. Noonan misses the second. Gators bringing it up. Freshman Orion Green can tie it here, but he blows the bunny. And Vandy holds on 63-61. Vanderbilt coach Kevin Stallings admitting afterward, I certainly don't know that we deserve to win. Florida controlled the game a lot more than we did. Gators dropped to 1-3 in the SEC, losing. Big Ten basketball, unranked Michigan, catch at number 16, Iowa, off its first conference lost was Henderson rejected, Lavelle Blanchard to Avery Queen, and Queen makes Blanchard's rockin' world go round, sets him up for the nice stuff. Michigan up by 10, a career-high 30 for Blanchard. Dean Oliver, though, finding Reggie Evans under 10 seconds of play. Evans, no. Dean Oliver, jumper for the win, no, sir. And Michigan. Whatever truculent means, if that's good, they're that. Michigan, a one-point upset and a sizable one behind Blanchard's offensive effort of 30 points. Again, a career high as Evans goes for 22 and 10 in the loss. Pac-10, number 17, Arizona hosting UCLA. Earl Watson, four fouls early second half. Bruins struggled without him. Jason Capono running the show. That's what happens when that happens. Eugene Edgerson, Capono's got to foul him. Steve Lavin, 21 turnovers. Bruins shot 54% in the first half, only 24% in the second. Capono just gives it away to Luke Walton. Capono made just two of 14 shots for a season low, four points. Arizona puts it away. Gilbert Arenas, the three. UCLA outscored 55 to 22 in the second half as Arizona cruises. Luke Walton said, this is our home. We were not going to let UCLA come in here and win. First conference loss for the Bruins. Back on campus, Texas A&M visiting Kansas early first half. Eric Chenoweth here. Drew Gooden there. 19 points, 10 assists for Gooden. Jayhawks hitting their first six shots of the game. Later in the first, Bernard King top shelf for Carlton Brown. Two of his 14. Aggies hanging around. They are within four, but Kansas pulls away later in half. Luke Axdell to steal. Jeff Boshi feeds Kirk Heinrich. The Heinrich maneuver open for three. A 24-5 Jayhawk run, and Kansas wins easily, shooting 52% from the field. 12th time in 16 games that Kansas has shot better than 50%. It's Drew Gooden's team-leading sixth double-double. Jayhawks have won six straight against the Yankees, who dropped to 0-5 at the Big 12. UConn on the ropes anytime they leave the state of Connecticut these days. Saturday they did, and Saturday they were against Miami. Marcus Barnes, six three-pointers, a career-high 24 points, later second now. The UConn's Marcus Cox forcing the turnover, feeding Edmund Saunders for the dunk, and the Huskies within three. Ten seconds left, though. UConn down four. Talik Brown spotting up for three. Johnny Sammons rejecting that idea, and Dwayne Wimbley, Wembley, Wombley over to Sammons for the easy dunk, and we shook up the world. The Huskies shoot better than 55% from the floor and lose. Something head coach Jim Calhoun says he can't remember happening in his 15 years at UConn, prompting Calhoun to utter, quote, we're very fragile. End quote. Handle with care, people here. The Huskies have now dropped three straight overall and four straight on the road. Those Big Ten wins blowing in Champaign. Number 10, Illinois hosting Penn State. Early first half, Marcus Griffin out to Corey Bradford. Guess what? A three. 83 straight games with at least one three. Adding to his NCAA record, he finished with 13 points. Still in the first, Sergio McLean pushing, spinning, hitting. He had a game high 15 points, seven rebounds, five assists. Final seconds, first half, Sean Harrington to beat the buzzer. A line 18 4 run to close the half on their way to an easy 92 60 win. Illinois shot 60% from the field. 
Memphis, number 21, Oklahoma at Kansas State. 13.4 left in overtime. K-State inbounds the ball up one. Hollis Price steals it, and it's splattered all over Manhattan. Two of his 13 Sooners are up one. Wildcats with a chance to win. Nolan Johnson taps it away from Travis Reynolds. The Sooners steal a 64-63 win. Sooners snapping their two-game Big 12 losing streak. J.R. Raymond leading the way for Oklahoma with 25 points. K-State hit only six of its 14 free throws in the overtime. Basketball, Kentucky, number 22, Ole Miss. First half, Ole Miss up by one. The pocket rocket, Jason Harrison to Raheem Lockhart. He had 11 in the first half. The little guy again from long range. A three over Saul Smith, 16 for Harrison. Ole Miss wins this one by 10, 65-55. Bader taking on 24, Texas in transition. Terry Black, look out. Bader within three. Tie game, Bader with a chance to win. Steve, can the congregation get an oi? Hey. Terry Black, oh, Air ball in overtime and off the miss. Texas pulling away. James Thomas the board. 73-66. Longhorns win. Rutgers taking on number 25 BC. Troy Bell nails the three at 16 points. Second half. BC by 12. Bell the long alley oop. Jonathan Beerbaum. The Beerbaum throws it down and the bench is pumped. 77-55. They win. DePaul taking on Temple. Sophomore Joe Tully. At three with a second left, the Paul wins at 65-64, one of his six threes. Well, Chris Hall up three. Andre Baird feeds the freshman Eddie Griffin. He just rocks the rim. Griffin adds 20 points. The Hall was up early. Later in the first, Eddie Griffin. Jet, no. Well, yeah. He also had 10 boards. Second half, Marcus Toniel. He ought to be in rush for Grand Larson. To Eddie Griffin. Did I mention that Griffin had eight block shots? He leads the nation in block shots. Seton Hall wins it 77-65. Hughes's six-game winning streak comes to a screeching halt thanks to Griffin, a freshman who came within two block shots of recording the second triple-double in Seton Hall school history. The first triple-double in school history was also Griffin back in December. The Hall had been just one in four against ranked teams this year. Big Ten, Ohio State and Michigan State. That's Andre Hudson, senior. Wearing the sweater because he's got pneumonia, not playing. Jason Richardson, the slack picker up for three. 12 points in the first half, a perfect first half, five of five. Later in the first, off the Buckeye miss, Marcus Taylor. The length of the court pass to Charlie Bell and Andre Hudson is appreciative. Lots of fluids, Andre. Second half, Spartans up five. Richardson, the catch and shoot. Four of five from the land of Trey. 24 points for him, Michigan State. 71-56 victors. They may not have that overall winning streak any longer, but the College Hoops Clemson can't win in North Carolina's home court. How about it? Number eight, Wake Forest. Josh Howard inbounds. Uh -huh. Some golly who misses. Howard doing mad work. 16 points, 10 boards. Second half, wake up five. Robert O'Kelly to Sangalia in the post. Wake up seven despite four of five starters only scoring a combined 21 points. And then Dwan Clifton gets trapped in the corner by Howard and steps out of bounds. Clemson had three turnovers on their last three possessions. You saw Larry Shiat. He needed a hug or therapy or both. Wake wins it. Says Broderick Hicks, who had a season I 18 and who started the first 10 games of the year before becoming a substitute. For a fight against Colorado, wasn't a laughing matter. Kirk Heinrich, he stripped, and Justin Harbert, inciting our adrenaline, beats the buzzer. Nine points for him. There were five ties, seven lead changes in the first half. Colorado was up three at the break. Second half, look out, Jose Winston. He is fouled real hard by Nick Collison. Winston hit his head on the floor. Buffs coach Ricardo Patton would say later he thought the foul was cheap and flagrant. Well, Roy Williams would say later, Nick Collison is not a dirty player. The two had to be separated, by the way. Collison got the intentional. Jeff Boshi to Heinrich. Nine points, 11 assists for Heinrich. Roy Williams can smile because Kansas wins 85-75 as Kansas beats the Buffs. Big Monday, Miami and St. John's from the Garden. Omar Cook and the Johnnies looking to improve their Big East record of 5-1. Second half, Miami up six. Marcus Barnes and three misses. That's okay. Darius Rice had his back. Rice led Miami with 22. Kyle Cuff the block on Rice. Sharif Fordham finds Cook for the lay in the tie of the game at 54. Under two minutes to play now. Here's Cook to Cuff for the hoop. And Louie loves it. St. John's was up two. 15 seconds left. John Sammons going around the defense. 
Little runner in the lane, gets it to go. We're going to overtime. The Johnnies were up one. Here's Omar Cook, the drive. And the foul gets it to go. 17 points, nine assists for Cook. St. John's wins. Anthony Glover, scoreless in regulation, scored four points in OT. Red Storm take over first place in the Big East East.